My real name is Sundaria Gantamar. Um, my family, I have one dad, one mom, my brother, and me and my baby sisters, they're twins. Um, I'm from Mongolia and um, I lived in an apartment and I lived with a cat and um, there was lots of mountains there, lot, not really a lot, but um, I like it when it's cold and um, we, get, we get to go skating and build snowmen. I like the snowflakes and stuff. I like the snow. Um, in Mongolia, there's a little dusty there, like a windy. And I never thought I would be skiing it with my friends. I'm Christina Schmidke, and I am a ski instructor. My favorite part of my job is watching people really learn to love skiing. Like, I get paid to go and ski with kids, which is, you know, I'd be doing that anyway. And it's just a lot of fun to come out here and ski with people who love to ski. Uh, the Skier Progression Program is a model developed by the CSIA to, in an attempt to standardize our, um, our teaching across the country. It's a set of specified goals that each skier has to meet to get to a certain level. Uh, CSIA was founded in 1938. Uh, we span across Canada, head offices in Montreal. You know, we're bilingual, everything's English, French. Uh, there are four different levels of instructors, levels one, two, three, and four. So the CSIA is mostly uh, consisting of levels one and two. I've been an instructor here at Snow Valley for six full years with a half a year as an assistant instructor. I took my level one course because it just looked like a lot of fun. Um, I'd taken lessons here before and just had a blast, so I figured, hey, may as well. My parents enrolled me in lessons here when I was eight or so, and I just really took to it. I raced for a year, then I went on to become an instructor, and it's just been my favorite part of winter for a long time. I'm working with a lot of instructors right now that taught me how to ski. Over the next six weeks, Sunny and I will be out at Snow Valley learning to ski through the CSIA Skier Progression Program. Once she's mastered her skills here, we're going to head to the Rockies to Castle Mountain. It is so easy to learn this sport and across Canada there are several different places that you can learn to ski on a daily basis. At Snow Valley we rent out everything you need for a day of skiing. Your skis, boots, poles, your snowboard, a helmet, really all of the essentials. So before we hit the slopes we have to get Sunny mobile on her skis. We have to, you know, run around a little bit, play tag, get her running, show her what the skis are all about and how they work. We just need to get her used to having skis on her feet. Um, on the first day of skiing, I went up the hill, but I was kind of slipping. Well, the first thing we went through was a game called Red Light, Green Light, which is a fun way to teach kids to learn to stop. Uh, red light means like do a, like pizza and like the pizza is like stop and green light to go and purple light to jump. We also worked on introducing turning and just practiced that for the rest of the evening. I did like a airplane thing like first uh, it, it helped me. It helped me uh, how to turn and to get my balance and stuff. Um, it was good. Well, it was kind of scary to me, but now it's really easy. Day two was a nice sunny day at Snow Valley. The whole family came out, including Sunny's two younger twin sisters. Canadian Ski Instructors Alliance spans the whole country, so there are individuals like myself all over the place who are welcome and ready to instruct anybody to ski. On lesson two, I didn't give Sunny as much help with all of her equipment as, you know, I'm not always going to be there skiing with her, so she needs to gain that independence. 
So today we mostly focused on Sunny's stance and balance, which is pretty fundamental in skiing. The CSAA offers private lessons and group lessons, uh, so both are a lot of fun. Uh, after a few practice runs, we headed over to the bigger hill to work more on Sunny's balance. Uh, so a very important part about learning to ski is learning to get up, because if you don't have somebody there to help you all the time, you'll just spend all day on the ground. So we worked on getting Sunny a little more independent. Mostly we worked on getting her balance on her outside ski, which is really important, especially on the steeper terrain. And she was starting to pick it up near the end of the lesson, so it was a good day. Today was a really big day for Sunny, as it is a big day for anybody who gets to go on the chairlift for the first time. Uh, she was again outgrowing her skills on the bigger magic carpet, and it was time to give her even more of a hill to ski on. The first thing that we did was just get her comfortable on the steeper terrain. This run was longer than anything she'd done before, and a bit of stamina was required. And working on her turns, keeping her balance on the outside ski, and just getting comfortable. It was really nice to see that her dad and her entire family were out again to support her throughout the day. Of course, a bigger hill means a bigger speed, so we really had to work against that. We got a lot of mileage today, a lot of guided mileage, in working on her turns, keeping her balance on the outside ski, and just getting comfortable. So overall, today was a pretty big day for Sunny. A lot of big steps were taken and so we needed a light lunch. It was really awesome because after watching Sunny ski, her mom decided that she would get out and try it. So it was really, really fun to see Linda out too. Peter, under all the things <laughs> and get born get to all this, you're so awesome and back with some quail. Tell you, got so much to go to each other. Багшаар заргаад ингээд тэр өндөр дээрээс уулын бил дээрс ирж чадсан да амар бэртээс унахгүйгээр буу чадсан да тэгэхээр тэгээ бүр цаашлаад бүр ингээд мундаг гулгадаг унахгүй гулгадаг шүү дээ тэгж болгос орхисан гэж бодож байна So again we focused lesson 4 on balance and balance is one of the most fundamental things for a beginner so now that she was comfortable on the bigger hill, it was time to work on perfecting her balance throughout the turn. So we slowed the pace down a little bit to really focus on things, like we didn't take as many runs, we spent more time on the hill. So one thing that comes at the stage that Sunny's at now is getting her skis from more of a wedge to a parallel shape. And that change from wedge to parallel brings her from you know the beginner stage to the early intermediate stage. By the end of the lesson, I could tell that she was pushing herself a little bit. You know, she was falling more often, and you know things were changing. Falling is always a good sign. <laughs> the couple of falls that she took <laughs> really told me she was working hard to make the changes that I was suggesting to her. She was doing really well and it was a really fun ski day. On lesson five, it was really nice to see Sunny motivating mom and dad to come out. Linda was on skis again today. Uh, you could tell that both of them were very proud of their daughter and what she'd been able to accomplish in just a few lessons. This lesson was dedicated to getting Sunny's skis more parallel throughout the entire turn rather than just near the end of the turn. I also handed the reins over to Sunny a bit and had her leading me down or just skiing down by herself, which allows her to pick her own track and just shows me she's, again, that much more comfortable. Our last lesson was pretty relaxed. It was kind of a slow day at Snow Valley and we had a lot of time just to ski around get some guided mileage in and talk a little bit about the big day in the mountains that was coming up. And you can see that she's really starting to get more confident on the hill and she was really becoming a true skier.
Today we talked a lot about skiing in the mountains and how it would be different than skiing at Snow Valley. You know, the mountains are a lot bigger <laughs> than what we have here. Castle Mountain is a gem within the Rockies that is home to a variety of terrain that includes a lot of really good beginner terrain for people like Sunny to work on their skiing. So the whole family came along to the ride to Castle Mountain. It was awesome to have everybody out there. I think everybody had a lot of fun. So I don't think any of them had seen a ski hill in the mountains before. It was really neat to see their reaction to such a big place. And Sunny was looking a little bit nervous, but our friend Andrew was there to show her around a little bit. We've got some fantastic terrain. We've got terrain now for everybody in the whole family to have some fun and be comfortable here. We've still got our, our, our you know, infamous long, continuous fall line stuff in the south chutes and on the big mountain. Uh, they also hopefully can expect to get a good powder day here too, you know, so it's kind of terrain, powder, and then we always like to be pretty friendly and uh, have a laid back atmosphere as well. Uh, the Canadian Ski Instructors Alliance spans the whole country, so there are individuals like myself all over the place who are welcome and ready to instruct anybody to ski. Overall, teaching Sunny was a lot of fun for me. She was a really quick learner, a lot of fun to teach, and really took to skiing really fast. You could tell that she was enjoying herself and genuinely wanted to work on improving her skiing. I would recommend skiing to anybody because it's a lot of fun. It's a very social sport. You can get out with your family or a group of friends. It's a good way to stay active in the winter and, you know, People just generally like it. As for the rest of the family, uh, Linda, Sunny's mom, continued to take some tips from Sunny, and her dad even tried out snowboarding, which is a pretty proud moment for me. Uh, skiing can be a great family sport and a great getaway. What I remember a lot from my childhood is all of the ski trips that I went on with my mom and my dad and my sister. It's a really good time to spend with everybody. To be a ski instructor is pretty rewarding. Um, you get to see a lot of kids accomplish something, you help them along the way to accomplish that. And for a lot of kids, it's a big thing in their lives. You, they kind of look up to you. Um, it's good to be able to influence a kid so positively like that. There are nearly 200 sites across the country offering the chance to go skiing. Skiing? put my family together and it feels good. I think everybody should get a chance to ski. It's so fun, it's so different. Very nice, um, what's that I, I, I want to tell? It's like, what you tell, life still. Very good life still. So check out your local ski hill for information on how you can learn to ski.